I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. <laughs> so all eyes will be on Jordan Addison. Let me repeat. All eyes will be on Jordan Addison this coming Sunday versus the Bears. Oh, yeah. Now, of course, it will be on the whole Viking squad. Everyone is going to be anxious to see how will they perform without Jettis, the best receiver, the best receiver in the league. What will they do with their weapon out, baby? How will they bounce back? <laughs> How 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 in the world could they compete possibly hang in there with any team without Jettis? You know, Jettis has been the, you know, put the team on his back. Get the team over the hump in tight situations, baby, period. Jettis a whole different level, a whole different caliber type receiver. You're talking the best in the NFL. How in the world could the Vikings somehow gain a victory, go on a win streak without their main guy, their superstar player? All pro. How can Kirk perform at a high level <laughs> when he doesn't have his main weapon, his go-to guy? Who's going to be his number one option now? <laughs> I'll tell you who. Jordan Addison. <laughs> Heavy. Well, he should be. If the Vikings are smart, if Kevin O'Connell is smart, if he's not caught up in the favoritism, loyalty, being over loyal to players. But I really believe it's a chance that for some reason, Kevin O'Connell and staff try to force feed KJ Osborne for some reason. I just got a feeling, baby, because we've, we've seen it the whole season. That's what this staff has proved, baby. Overloyal, favoritism, BS. Wondering why guys are starting, why guys are in certain positions, i.e. Alexander Madison, when it's clear, evident, can make or should be the starter. Wondering why they continue to make KJ Osborne the two trying to force feed him the ball when it's clear evident Jordan Addison is the number two heavy. KJ Osborne might not even be a number three. No disrespect. We just talking facts, but I wish him the best. But has, has he performed at a high level? No. Has he been inconsistent with his play? Yes. Period. Like it or not, man, we're going to talk facts. Especially now at this moment, baby, from here on out. Already talk real deal, but we're going to take it up a level, amp it up, amp it up, man. No pussyfoot, nothing, baby. Heavy, true fan head. Can't handle the heat. Get about the kitchen, bro. Bottom line. But Jordan Addison, what a perfect opportunity, man. He's already proven he belongs in the league. He's already shown his potential, his potential greatness, how elite he can be. Just what? Route running alone, yeah. His route running, dog. Is so elite already, rookie season. Oh, man, he's an expertise when it comes to running those routes. Chris routes, man. In and out of his cut quickly and swiftly. And you talk about his speed. I don't care about his 40. That boy got football speed. He can take the top off. Take the top off, baby. We've seen it all season in this short span of his career. Now, the question is, now that he will definitely be in the spotlight, people want to see him. People are interested in seeing him at that number one spot. So the question is, how will KOC utilize him and how will he respond? Yeah, pressure. We talk about pressure. Let's get it, man. Jordan Addison can really, can really prove all the doubters wrong, man. All the haters. People saying he's too small. He can't survive in the league. He can't stay healthy. They talked about his lack of ability getting out the press, getting off the line. You ask me, he's improved that already, <laughs> especially last week versus the Chiefs. Yeah, he looked better off that line. He looked quicker and stronger off that line. Now, does he still need to work on his blocking, run blocking? Of course, man. Of course, man. But at the end of the day, he shouldn't be put in that position unless he absolutely has to. That's on O'Connell, right? Kevin O'Connell. It's no reason he should ever have Jordan Addison blocking on a screen pass, baby. It makes no sense. It's not his strengths, dog. Period. Bottom line. But Jordan Addison, it's time for him to step up, rookie or not. We're going to see his true skills. It's no more Jettas to be a decoy. And not just for Addison, for K.J. Osborne. Everyone talks about how he's a two- how this should be his breakout season. He talked about chip on his shoulder, ready to play, ready to prove people wrong, people hating on him hard. Well, it's time for KJ Osborne to step up as well, show his talents. You understand? Guys like Brandon Powell, 
who have an opportunity to show what they can do. TJ Hawkinson, who's been soft all season. So all these guys, all these players have the opportunity, the chance to show what they really bout. If they bout it, bout it. If you bout it, bout it, fool. <laughs> you dig me? You get my drift? The time is now, man. All the, you know, the coaches, the players talking about, you know, continuing to believe, continuing to fight. First division game, it's not over. It's a long season. You understand? You see Kirk and his presses. It's a long season. Just got to get the victory. Everybody talking about how they focused on the Bears. That's it, man. Nothing else on their mind. Division game. How the season is still alive. That's what KOC loved to say, right? The season is still here. We still got chances. We still can make history. All right. Well, it starts this week with them Bears. And the most important player on the offense who really got to ball out, really got to put numbers up, Really got to do something to help the team, contribute to the team in a major way. Yeah, elevate his game. Elevate his game. That is Jordan Addison, baby. Oh, yeah, that will be the main narrative, the main theme of the game. I don't care what nobody else say. All eyes on Jordan Addison, man, because guess what? Like I said in previous videos, how he plays, if he can come in and contribute at a high level and prove he can be a number one receiver in the NFL. Oh, man, that changes the whole dynamic of the Justin Jefferson injury, baby. Period, bottom line. Now, of course, you don't want, you don't want to see nobody get injured. Wish injury on no one, man. Best wishes to Justin Jefferson. Hopefully, he recovers quickly and swiftly. But at the end of the day, hmm, opportunities have been open, man. And like I say, not just for Addison, but for KJ Osborne, Brandon Powell, TJ Hawkinson, they already paid him. He's been soft the whole season, the whole season, period. But if Jordan Addison comes in and performs at a high level and can be a true number one, oh man, it could change the dynamic of everything, i.e. how the Vikings move going forward with Justin Jefferson, whether they try to trade him or not, right? Obtain draft capital or not, man. You could get a lot for Jettas, a lot for Jettas. But like I say, of course, fans don't want to see him go. You would love to see him retire a Viking and win a championship, man. That's just what it is. But at the end of the day, the NFL, this is the business part of the business, man. And I guarantee you, Quazy sitting back, watching, wondering what's going to happen, right? <laughs> what's going to happen? How can the Vikings perform? Can they compete without Jettas? But it starts with Addison, man. A great pick, a great pick. He was a hit. He was a hit, baby. <laughs> Shout out Quazy. Great job by Quazy. Really great job by Kevin O'Connell because Kevin O'Connell said, hey, put the phone down. This is our guy. You know, Quazy was on the phone talking about trading this, trading back again, making the same mistake, right? See, that's why sometimes you like, you wonder about Quazy, man. He just do too much, right? Do too much. Calm it down, Quazy. Calm it down, bro. <laughs> Heavy. Just trying to do too much extra, bro. That's why sometimes you question, can he really assemble a championship team? But we will see. But Jordan Addison, he is the main guy. He is the main character, dog. All eyes on him. Can he step up? Can he be a number one? It's totally different without Jethers now. It's going to be on him, right, to be the decoy. Him to shake the defense up, get open, et cetera, et cetera. It's going to be on O'Connell as well. Will he draw the right plays up, incorporate the right scheme, and put Addison in the best position to win, baby, to perform at a high level, period, bottom line. But this is the opportunity. The question will be, is Jordan Addison ready, man? Will he take full advantage of this opportunity, dog? Right? <laughs> I don't care what nobody else says. Oh, Osborne here, Osborne there, Brandon Powell, other guys going to step up. That's cool. They have opportunities as well. They should have chips on their shoulders, ready to play, prove the haters wrong, prove the doubters wrong, no doubt. But we know the true story. We know who, who, we know what player everybody is watching, bro. That rookie, that number three, who's been balling out all season, showing what he can do. Except this time, he is the main target, right? He is the focus, and I'm sure the Bears will focus on him. He might even see double coverage. Especially if you start eating heavy, eating heavy, right? If he gets open early, make some big plays. I don't be shocked if the Bears, you know, 
change from one-on-one -on -one coverage to start bracketing him or double teaming him. They could do it right out the gate, make it real difficult. <laughs> but everybody going to have to step up, man. That's just what it is. Everybody got to elevate their game. But the main one, Jordan Addison, right? He could change the whole trajectory of the Vikings moving forward, man. As far as trades, as far as being competitive, <laughs> as far as guys who the Vikings play, I mean, who they pay, you know, they still got to pay Darius all right. So they could, you know, they looking to free up cap space, man, heavy. But like I said in a previous video about Jettas, look out for the domino effect. Because if Addison proves he's that guy, that he can get it done, they can build around him heavy, to, man, it could be a different story, a different scene in, Vi in Vikings land, baby, in school territory. That's just what it is. Period, bottom line. Now, like I say, man, you, you lose Jettas, you could lose the whole team. <laughs> do I see the Vikings winning, competing at a high level without him? No, but I hope they do. If they do, I would not be mad. Period, bottom line. But Jordan Addison, man, has all the skills, has the skill set, period. Route running, right? Catching ability, getting open, setting his body up, right? Putting his body in the right position for Kirk Cousins. We've seen him make big play after big play. Last week, a big fourth down catch, stepping up to the plate. Now, can he really do it with no help from the best receiver in the league? All eyes on in on him. That's the big question, baby. So we're going to see what he's about. We're going to see if he's that guy, if he could be a true number one. Some people think he can. <laughs> but you got to love it, man. You got to be excited for it. This is the NFL. This is the business, man. <laughs> but definitely, it's going to be intriguing. So intriguing to see what he does, how he handles the pressure as a rookie, right? As a rookie, man. And if KOC is smart, like I said, he will put him, have him inserted as the number one. And just like they try to force feed Jettas the ball at times, he will force feed Jordan Addison to see what he can really do. If it's really about winning, competing, the season not being over, like KOC continues to say, says the players believe in each other, believe in self. It's a long season. You saw Kirk and his presser. He's focused on a Chicago game. They got to win this week. Division game, division opener. There's still a lot of season left. All right, we're going to see how much they really believe, right? Heavy, man. But that's my take, my opinion on it. Swaggy Addy, Jordan Addison, man. <laughs> it's on him. Let's see what he really about. Got to love it, man. Let me know how you feel about it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm on and rock and rolling, man. Takes less than one second. Support the channel for real. Big score here. Score Vikes forever. Woo! <laughs>